I'm petty. I got a little bit of my pride gets in the way. And I think I'll say this and some might not agree. I think we tend to dog the top dashers because a lot of us might be too prideful. At least I'll speak for myself. I'm not going to speak for everybody in the chat. I'm too prideful at moments. I don't want to take a beginner dasher where you're like, wow, I didn't have to take that. I can just sure. cherry pick and you get introduced to cherry picking. Then you go online and then you see the shit storm of people that just said top dasher shit because cherry picking was like sure. their focus. But that's why that's why I'm standing here today, taking the risk, putting my balls on the line, saying, hey, guys, it's a bit different. And I'll take the flack. I'll take everybody that wants to call me a clown. It's fine, mm -hmm. you know, because. Mm -hmm. Like we said, it's how much money you want to make for your market. But what I know is that I'm saying for truth, and I'm not trying to be cocky or, you know, an mm -hmm. asshole or anything. I have confidence behind it because I didn't do it. And then I did do it. And now I've also taught people in different markets. So it's not just Las Vegas. You know, it's gone across the entire nation in my discord right now. Mm -hmm. And everybody that's tried it and took the advice has prospered from it and made more and seen more. So by seeing that, that motivates me to just want to, say to other people, hey, guys, it's, it's working, but I don't want to be mean to anyone. I don't want to say you guys need to do it. You can't tell anybody what to do in, in the world. You know, you have to lead through example or through influence and people sure. will, will adapt sure. and be like, whoa, I want to try that also. But that's yeah, because right. you've already hit your top dasher. And we'll I've already hit it. So, I, so I'm so doing you're cherry picking. Now. I'm yeah. cherry picking just like everybody else right, right now. Right, There's right, no right. difference on what I'm doing. I'm doing it exactly how you're doing it. But this is yeah. now let me let me go with the tears real quick. Let's go back yeah. to this real quick. It might be a little long winded, but I'll try and make it like less than a minute for you guys. Important ahead, information right ahead. here. I have I have explained this to the members in my Discord, and by sh explaining this information, I've seen literally 100% success rate with everybody that has taken initiative and with an open mind and said, "Hmm, well, let me drop what I think real quick, and let me exercise a day doing that real fast, and let me see if it works." And people's eyes just light up instantly when they see it, which is amazing. I think it's awesome. If you guys don't believe me, check out the Discord. It's on my channel. Click on the descriptions. It's everywhere. But you guys can go in and we have we have chat rooms and pictures and everything of data every single day of, of 20 or 30 or 40 top dashers in there right now mm -hmm. dropping data. Mm -hmm. Back to catering. Let's not get off subject here. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the catering list, right? It's out of 100%. This is your acceptance rate, right? But in order for you to be in the highest of catering, you you have to have a 100 percent. Well, I wouldn't say 100 percent rate, but you have to have at least a 90 percent acceptance rate. And then you can apply for the wait list and you'll get right in. That's all I did. I went to 90 percent, applied mm -hmm. for the wait list. One day later, here came the email. And I was like, wow, this is let me ask you a question. Did you apply for that before with a lower acceptance rate? No. As okay. soon as I hit top dasher, then the list and just to make sure because make sure everything looks kosher as you're going in that you're not trying to come in with a low stat like think of it like an employee you're applying for a position and they look at you real quick and they go well this is your average we're looking for this right now you know they're mm -hmm. not going to say it to you you know mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so this try this list of of where we think these orders at the catering the subtotals is the most important thing so let's go to dollars I get huge orders depending on the market restaurants. My on-time release 99.13. Mm -hmm. So we believe that when you're in the large order in the catering, you're receiving orders over $100 of subtotal, mm -hmm. right? Right underneath that is, I would, I would call that tier one. And then tier two is top dasher, which would be 70% all the way up to, you know, 90% or whatever it is before the catering. And now mm -hmm. in, as you're a top dasher, once you get above 69% and you're in 70% or higher, you have now what we call, like I've said, a priority access to $35 to $75 subtotal. So now the range of $35 to $75 has opened up once you become a top dasher. Yeah, and I've seen that. I think you did a video in the last two weeks, and you I, I remember seeing that whiteboard, and you you broke mm -hmm. it down into those. So I, do, I really I wish do, I had this picture. If I, I know, I know. Picture, I do like, remember that. It would be, it'd be yeah, so easy. I, I do remember that. But now if you have, say, an acceptance rate between zero and 69%, which means you're not a top dasher, you're just you're just doing the best of cherry picking to get the best of your zone, mm -hmm. then what you do is you have options of just zero dollars total. Like, you're not going to get a zero to unless somebody orders one cent of something, which I don't mm -hmm. know if you can. But it'd be from zero dollars to $29 of subtotals. And these are the frequent orders that you're going to get. Not to say, we'll go back to this tier thing or think of like a Plinko board, right? Of, as you mm -hmm. drop something, it falls down between. If an order comes in and say it's above $100, so it qualifies for a catering order. If a catering person is not online, then it's going to fall down to the next part of the list, which is top dasher, right? And if a top dasher is not online or they're all busy, 
then the algorithm will just go to the next part, which is now 69% and below. So the first person that's online in that specific zone with 69% acceptance will see the offer first. So you're saying that when I get these offers, because I get them every day, if I yeah. if I have DoorDash and some, you know, some days I'm doing Uber or more Instacart. So, you know, but there could be a, a day or two where I get two or three or four of these. Right. But on average, it's at least one or two a day. Right. So you're saying that by your guys's theory and what you guys have seen is that it's that Plinko. OK, well, there's no mm-hmm. top dash or on or they're on something else or they're also they're busy or they're off or, they're, or, they're, or maybe they declined order, it for whatever or there's reason. an order on their phone that they haven't hit decline yet. So they're right. busy. So then eventually it, what you're saying is it falls to the to the bottom of Correct. me because my acceptance rate is 18 percent. My, my well, hold on. Rate, it won't matter right now. It mattered what you closed out on the 31st of the month at 1159 p.m. That's your step. That's that's to start so the month. It, right, right now, the number is completely arbitrary for the rest of the, the days right now through the month. It really does not matter what your percentage because you, is. Because you, you would have had to go back last week to see what it was, is what you're saying. And I have no idea. Like, if I, you have I, no idea, then you don't know where you when are. I, yeah, when I when I end my month, it doesn't matter to it me. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Because I'm like, eh, yeah. fuck it. I don't care. Like, it doesn't, yeah, yeah. you know, it just doesn't matter. You. Right. Um, let me ask you a couple questions. I appreciate the candor. Okay. I want to ask you a couple of questions. Um, let me see. Uh, so how many days does it take you or your group of TMB boys out in Vegas on your discord at the end of the month? How many f- days far out are you having to get up to that 70? You know, is it two? Is it three? Is it four? Is it five? Is it a week to get up to that 70 to where you start the next month at the top dasher? And a second part of that question is, how many bad orders do you have to take? And do you ever feel like, man, I, this sucks? Do you ever have those moments of like, I cannot believe I'm taking this $3 order going six miles. I delivered it. This person's, you know, they're miserable. They didn't tip me. And a, thir- <laughs> a third part of that, because you, you know how I rock, man. A third part of that is, do you ever get cash tips? So when you're trying to get top dash, or, you know, at some point you got to take one or two bad orders, right? It just It is what it is. It's part of the game, yeah. right? And you're playing a game. I get it. I respect that. How often do you get cash tips? So kind of break us down with some of those. Questions. All right. So hold on. First, first part was how many bad orders, right? How many, uh, how long, how many days do you have to oh, take okay, some days. crap? And how many days? Order. And then, yeah. And, and, and really the only other thing I want is like, are you ever really feeling like, man, this sucks for these days. I'm just going to, I'm going to do it though. Cause I see there's perks for me at the end or the beginning of the month. Right. And then yeah. how many cash tips do you get from people that don't tip on the app? How, what's the ratio for you? I'm just curious because I don't take a lot of those. So I don't really know. I can't speak from experience, but I feel like you might take more of those than me within a month. So, OK, so how many how many bad orders I would say it would take? Right. Yeah. We'll just address that. Or no, actually, let's just your how you feel about it, because this sure. is this is the leading up. You know, when you lead up to go do something, you get maybe anxiety or you think it through and you, you put scenarios, you know, you run a million scenarios on what could happen before you start to go. Right. right. And a lot of people shake themselves and they f- they fear themselves out of even trying to go for something. So I think it just takes a lot of mental fortitude to take an order to somebody that doesn't tip. So there's I feel there's techniques or ways to kind of trick yourself. Me at that point, I'm not looking at the dollar because I know in the end of the day by doing it for two months and watching my friend do it for three months before me and then watching other people do it, that you you won't lose money at the very end of, of your going for top dasher, just call it a block, right? Your top dasher block. If you worked those days and you did your orders and you went to say 70%, I've, I feel it would be impossible to lose money. There's overall, no are you saying overall? overall. But, overall. On some, but on some singular orders, there's yeah, definitely- Yeah, on a singular order, you may eat that order, but it would be damn near impossible for you to catch 70 250s in a row. You know what it would be. It's like, yeah, it's impossible. Sure. The yeah. reason why you may say, I see so much junk in a day, it's because you do decline a, a 450 and then a 550 comes in and then a 350 comes in and you saw three orders in 19 or 20 or, or a minute and you saw yeah. three, three orders. But if you would have just taken the 450 on the first one, top dasher right now, mm-hmm. then you would have never seen the other two and you wouldn't actually decline as many as you think in the day. And you'd be busy during that 15 or 20 or 30 minute block that it took you to do it. And you would be right on to a next one and on to a next one and on to a next one. So mm-hmm. I think there's kind of a fear that people conjure up, you know, of these scenarios of, man, it, it might not work out. So I feel you just see, I call it pettiness. I'm petty, bro. I call it I'm petty. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying you want to put it. I'm petty. I'm 40. I ain't got time for the games. You're a little younger than me. I could tell. 
I just I'm, don't want to. I'm 34. It's not very far away. So, oh man, I thought so you were like 25. Okay, not even. Right. So, so check it out. I graduated in 2006. I grew up okay. before the internet existed, bro. I know. I <laughs> I grew up before cell phones were even in high school and people. So okay. I'm right, right there with you. I grew up when okay. when you came on when the streetlights came on. You know. Oh yeah. So okay. Cool. Right I thought you. you just looked a little younger. So my. Apologies, oh yeah, for sure. So. If yeah, I took yeah. my hat off, you'd realize why I wear a hat every day. Makes sense now. I was wondering. Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's the glasses it, right? too. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> that, now, Woo! okay, there we go. There it now is. Now I that see put, it. That puts the age there, right? <laughs> we j- listen, y'all. We just got to well, reveal. We'll from put Richard. it. We'll put it this way, guys. Don't be a general manager <laughs> for seven years for U-Haul because you will lose your fucking mind. Oh, listen, bro. I worked at Applebee's, man. I got you beat there. I worked at Applebee's for like fifteen years, so I feel you. Trust me, I feel that. Mm-hmm. But so let's get back to. I'm just petty, so like for me, like it's like a, and I understand this about myself. I'm learning. I'm petty. I got a little bit of my pride gets in the way. And I think I'll say this and some might not agree. I think we tend to dog the top dashers because a lot of us might be too prideful. At least I'll speak for myself. I'm not going to speak for everybody in the chat. I'm too prideful at moments. I don't want to take a two or three dollar order. I take four dollars sometimes because I feel like hey, it's two dollar tip. It's going a mile. It's slow. I'll do that all day. It makes good money sense for me. Right. Plus, I'm making something versus just twiddling my thumbs in my car. Yeah, but for me, I'm too prideful. I can't take two and three dollars. I just can't do it. I just for me. And I also feel like typically in the few experiences that I've had and what I've heard from other people, those tend to be the customers that aren't going to give you great delivery instructions. They might say they didn't get their food. There's going to be some issue at the drop off. They just generally might not respect the dasher as often or as much, at mm-hmm. least in my experience. Right. Yeah, so do, do, do you so. ever you know, I'm sure you've run into that. How do you combat that? Just share with us some of the things you do to stay positive while you're taking these mm-hmm. two, three so here, orders. Let's, I'll, let me address the, the bad orders and it'll walk right in right into that. So my okay. bad orders, how many I get going for Top Dasher? Um, I have a certain area or areas that I like to sit in my city against my hot zones when I go for Top Dasher. So, for instance, I'm not going to drive into the middle of a hot zone where I know that just orders are flying like crazy where the shit is at. So mm-hmm. I will literally sit outside of a hot zone on the perimeter of it or so in a smaller area, knowing that I'll catch trickles of stuff that comes out of that area going to a smaller place. And then I don't catch something that goes 14 miles out of my way. Another big one also is when you do get an order and you do drop it off, just make sure that you pause your dash instantly. You know, when you drop off that you pause so that you don't drop off your order at the person's house and get a Taco Bell for 258 miles because everybody declined it as you were on an order. So now right. you're next in line to receive the shit, right? right? So there, yeah. there's strategies that you have to think of. There's there's more to it than just meets the eye. I'm not just going out there and taking shit orders. You know, I'm not mm-hmm. out here to lose money just like you guys. But I also, at the same time, do have to maybe take a hit on an order. But it's never a loss of money at the very end. If at I can still make yeah. $700 at the end of the week, let's put mm-hmm. this into perspective. I made $800 every two weeks as a general manager, making $30,000 a year for a company that makes billions of dollars a year. So to come to DoorDash and be able to make $200 plus a day, Mm -hmm. man, my expenses are in the low $1,000 for a month. Is that that why you feel, because in some of the videos I've watched, I, 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 I... I, I know you talk about, hey, don't whine, don't complain. You know what I'm saying? I feel mm-hmm. like you're maybe a little more grateful for the gig apps, whereas some of us content creators, even myself, I'm, first off, I'm very grateful. I've said it, but they're there are the also thing, times. They're the best thing that's ever happened to us. Well, listen, <laughs> it's the best. Listen, I can agree with you. It's the best thing that's happened to me because I've been able to fold it into other things. And I have a lot of I have a lot of freedom and flexibility. And I think when you're working at U-Haul, when you're working at Applebee's, or whatever, right? A corporate giant that's a billion dollar entity, they don't care about you. Nope. The same, and you know, neither does DoorDash. Neither does DoorDash. Maybe, exactly. Maybe, and, and and DoorDash shouldn't in some ways because hey, it's a business, just it's like any business. other it's a bit they're they're gonna right. do what they do, right? But like, do you feel like because of that gratitude that you have, like you just said, right? You didn't like you haul, you hated it. You're mm-hmm. feeling like you're able to have more of a positive spin, even when you have to take those small orders. Yeah, because I'll treat every customer the same. You know, I don't mm. I don't treat anybody differently because I, let's bring it back to general manager. If I was a general manager, I probably couldn't have ordered DoorDash. Even if I even did not even tip, I probably couldn't afforded the service fee and the delivery fee or Dash Pass. You know, I sure. yeah. I was broken. A lot of people know that. And even if you're driving for DoorDash right now and you're essentially paycheck to paycheck where you make just enough money, you're li- still living the rat race of what a W-2 person <laughs> works and what doordash provided for me 
was a break from the rat race to where I was able to pay all my bills in the first 10 days of the month. And I have 20 days to coast. I'm not going to coast. I see opportunity. And this is where the DoorDash channel come from and, you know, doing YouTube and connecting mm-hmm. with more content creators. I'm a different person than I was two years ago. You know, if, if you're still dashing exactly the same way as a year ago, you, you can't, you know, you've already changed things, right? You've seen DoorDash change something. So you had to change it in just a little bit. It would have been possible. You know, even in the last year, we've seen the base pay, base pay go down these 450 for long trips and the bullshit that they, they share. Right. Yeah. 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 No, I, 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 I get that. I like that you said that because that I, I resonate with that. Let's read this comment. So uh, let's get back. How many days does it take to make top dasher? Yeah. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Bing, bing, bing. This is from us army 11 Bravo. I think he works in, in your area. Yeah. He yeah, says he knows Sam. you. Shout yeah, out, yeah. man. Shout out, shout out. Yeah, he's he so definitely a supporter takes, of this channel. So how many it, days does it take you to get there? And- for, for basic 70%, I would mm-hmm. say if you're sitting at like 18% today, it would take mm-hmm. you more no more than a day and a half. It'd probably take you about 36 to 45 deliveries from there to get to 70%. You know, so you're, so so let's say forty deliveries. So yeah, that for me in my market, that's like two days. Two days. I do, so I say know, it, in, in a day and a half to two days. Like if you want to hustle it, wake up at seven in the morning and drive to like eight, nine, ten o'clock at night, you'd be able to do twenty, twenty five deliveries. Yeah, I ain't in, doing. In I'm not, I'm not working that much. But well, yeah, I think I think you know everybody has their own time frame. Well, for me, I, I can't be twelve hours in a car. Not anymore. Well, here, here, instead of doing it, instead of doing it like that, I, there's a better way of doing it than just going like straight and burning yourself out. Right. Is if you want seventy percent. You would break 70% into a 100 block, right? Because it's the last 100 orders you did. So if you took 70 and divided by five, it'd be 14. So you would only have to take 14 deliveries per five days. Mm. And you would also be able to decline up to six deliveries per day also, right? right? Because yeah, only, I, that makes sense. Right? Because it would be 20 per day, 100 orders total that have cycled to your phone. So this is where a lot of people think, well, I have to take the shit. Well, no, you don't actually have to take that shitty order. Even if it was 14 miles, you can use one of your declines. And imagine if you have one good day where you didn't have to decline that many. You just took them, you did your thing, and you've got you got four extra declines. Now you've got 10 the next day. Yeah, yeah, Right? Yeah. So what? Got- let, me ask you, let me ask you a question. So <clears throat> I had it written down here. It goes to that. So I, I heard a, a theory, and I was like, this is – I couldn't wrap my brain around it because I'm, I'm, I'm just – I never say never, but I'm, I'm, I'm at like – less than one percent that i would ever go for top dasher you know i just not that guy you know i think if i made the content on my channel people would love it but i'm not making videos just for that right not for the clicks and views Mm -hmm. i just can't you know in my market i feel like i make good enough money plus i multi app um so i've heard somebody say okay so i'm at 18 percent right now let's just say i'm still at 18 percent, and it's the 29th or 30th of this month right Mm -hmm. and i wanted to be top dasher in theory couldn't i reject 100 deliveries in a row on my phone. And I could do that in one day. I could literally turn you'd, my DoorDash app on. Zero, you'd be at 0%. I, I'd, I'd be at 0%. And then but start if, I, that. if I counted, if I counted, eat, if I kept track, right, for a day, let's say I wasn't, yes. you know, and I wrote it down, put it in my memo, my notepad. And I said, okay, I just declined 100 in a row. I'm at 0% because I've been to 0% twice, right? I've been multiple times, dude. <laughs> yeah, and I don't care. So I'm like, eh, I don't no, know. And they sent matter. me a good order, right? Well, it doesn't, got, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if I got to zero percent, then it starts over because it's a rolling, correct? It's That's a rolling one hundred. It's, it's the so next then if it starts over, if I take the one hundred and one one hundred and one order, then it, does that put me at a hundred? Then I take no, like puts, two or three. At, it puts you at one percent. It's it whenever you, you try, whenever you decide to take one order, think of it like your block starts there. Your one hundred block starts there. If any of you play roulette or have seen a roulette wheel, how you can see the previous numbers. You can see the last of the numbers that have been played. Think of that like your deliveries, the last of your deliveries that you did previously. Well, you have you literally have 100 of them sitting behind you that you've done. So when you do the next delivery, the first one falls off, right? It's just mm. it, they keep cycling. You know what I mean? One drops okay, on, off. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So that's yeah. all you're doing. So when you start Top Dasher and you want to go for 70 percent, it doesn't matter what your percentage is. At the end of the five days, if you just follow math 14 each day and mm-hmm. decline six each day and you can save declines or not then you would have 70 percent at the very end of five days if you mm-hmm. wanted to do it in four days then you know just 70 into four you know you just kind of right 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 write right. it real quick you know so when you're building up at the at the end if, if let's say it's two days for you right let's just say yeah. the last two days is 30th and 31st yeah how are in those particular two days right how much yeah less are you making if you are versus let's say the first two days of the next month is that does that make sense like are you making less yeah okay so i'll average about 
I'll I'll get to to just go for the number to achieve it. It's about 130, Correct. about 130 to 160 bucks is what I'll make in a day. Uh, going for 20. Okay, so this is me going for 20 per day versus 200 dollars on a normal day. Uh, well, I just stop at 200. dollars I don't. Okay. I I could my market can make 400 out here. Guys are doing it every day, and people are like you oh, only sure. make 200. If you push the limit, yeah, I could do course. this. I could make 300 dollars with DoorDash. I already know it, so, but I'm not. But I, I'm not I have work to have. I, I need a balance in my life. I I can't only do that at eight o'clock at night. I have to kind of go home and run my YouTube channel and make videos and mix sure. stuff and, and yeah. edit. Right. So. Yeah. There's there's another two or three or four hours after you know work or you know after DoorDash to do the second job you know mm -hmm. so it's a it's a consistent grind of doing it so I wouldn't I don't lose any money because I'm I have the perk of working less so the last two videos that I put on my video or on my channel I only worked six hours and I made two hundred bucks each six hour block mm -hmm. so that's pretty damn good right there and mm -hmm. I only did like 12 deliveries to get 200 bucks. I mean, that. So let me right ask you, there okay, is very let me, good. Too. Let me stop. Let me stop you there. Cause I want to push on you a little bit. Yeah. So you work two, six hour blocks, right? Mm -hmm. And you can make 200 bucks. Yeah. Oh, two, two separate days. So six, six hours on one day and I made 200 and then six hours the next day. And there's oh, two okay. videos showing two different times that I just did it back to back. It's not, like I'm kind of saying that it's consecutive, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's not just a one lucky time that I worked six hours and made two hundred. Sure, bucks. because no, that, you can get some great, crazy unicorn orders or like a good tipping customer, and it can inflate that number a little bit, right? And help yep. your hourly and your whole so, day. So check this: if you went onto my channel three months ago, you'll see that I went to work at like ten thirty in the morning and got off at ten o'clock at night, and I barely hit two hundred dollars. I was grinding the whole entire day, mm -hmm. no no breaks between say two and four when it's slow, just grinding it, right? And now. Mm -hmm. I don't have to sit out there as long. Yes, I can make more money. I'm just making the same average that I need to support myself. And everybody, well, sure, everybody's different. everybody's situation is different. It's all personal. Everybody's bills are different. Your work Correct. life balance is different. I work right now. Like when I first started with DoorDash full time in 2021, so it's been a year and a half since I've gotten rid of my W two. Um, I was working six, seven days a week, some weeks, and I was grinding to learn my market. I needed the money. And then as I started making money on YouTube and doing other things, I started working less, which is for me how it should be. Right. You got to have a balance. You can't you know, I could. Yeah, I could work 12 hours a day and make 300, 350 bucks. But I don't want to do that. Like, it's just that's not my lifestyle right now. Right. But I think it's what you said is important because it's all personal. Some people are most people that do this work, do it part time. Most people don't do it like we do it. And how the 424 shout out to the 424 in the chat. Appreciate hey, you. All. Seen that. Yeah. So. So, yeah, there we go. Shout out to the smokers out there. Um, most people don't do it as much as we do it or care as much either. I think I think we can agree on that. Like most people that do this do it part time. They want to make a couple hundred bucks a week. I think that's DoorDash is great for that. You can pay off debt. You can pay off this. You can do that. Have a little cash money, whatever. But like I think having a balance is super important because for me, like I'm right now, I'm working like six hours a day. Like I don't that that's my cap. I got other things going on, you know. So when you talk when you talk about, you know, it sounds like you're grinding to get that top dasher because in your market, you see benefits. Right. Uh, and in my market, I just I can't speak to it. And I'll be honest, because uh, I've, never, right I've there, never done it. You don't, you don't have it right now. So it's too hard to, to compare the difference. But what's sure. awesome is I know someone in your market. You, you have to know someone in your market that dashes with you and you see them frequently. Right. There's gotta be someone that watches day. your channel that's going to be a top dasher. There's going to be closet top dashers from this conversation. Oh, no, yeah. sure. But I, I will say this as well, Richard. I have a lot of people, like hundreds at this point, that tell me, hey, I was taking every order before, and now I'm making more money by not. Well, of so, course, that's what I said. It's it's going it's going from just taking everything to becoming a beginner, beginner top dasher or beginner dasher where you're like, wow, I didn't have to take that. I can just sure. cherry pick. And you get introduced to cherry picking. Then you go online, and then you see the shit storm of people that just said top dash or shit because cherry picking was like sure. their focus. But that's why, that's why I'm standing here today, taking the risk, putting my balls on the line saying, Hey guys, it's a bit different. And I'll take the flack. I'll take everybody that wants to call me a clown. It's fine. Mm -hmm. You know, cause mm -hmm. like we said, it's how much money you want to make for your market. But what I know is that I'm saying with truth and I'm not trying to be cocky or, you know, an mm -hmm. asshole or anything. I have confidence behind it because I didn't do it. And then I did do it. And now I've also taught people in different markets. So it's not just Las Vegas. You know, it's gone across the entire nation in my discord right now. Mm -hmm. And everybody that's tried it and took the advice has prospered from it and made more and seen more. So by seeing that, that motivates me to just want to 
say to other people, hey, guys, it's, it's working, but I don't want to be mean to anyone. I don't want to say you guys need to do it. You can't tell anybody what to do in, in the world. You know, you have to lead through example or through influence and people sure. will, will adapt sure. and be like, whoa, I want to try that also. Yeah. So I, I, no, I, I get that. I get that. But I would, I would I would say this because, listen, me, I'm I, I ran. I, I ramble. Like, I tell people what to do. I don't care. I think that if you're so confident about it, you need to be more willing to say, hold up. You guys are wrong. I got the special sauce. You know what I'm saying? Like you have to be, we have to be willing to go out on the limb. And mm -hmm. I think you're doing that because you're making content that's very different than 97% of the content creators, right? So you're going against the grain, which is cool. I think we need to have different perspectives and also realize markets are different. But if what you're saying, and if you feel it 100%, you need to be challenging more people. You know what I'm saying? Because if, if, if you've got the evidence to back it up, don't don't worry about what Pedro says. Like, and I know you oh, don't, but you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, well, that's go out and be lead, more abrasive about I'll it. Be lead, like, hey, you I'll know. lead through example. Because like I said, I don't I don't want to be an asshole to anybody. I'm not here to say I'm better than anybody or or that if you don't do this, then you're not doing the right thing. It's not like that at all. I feel I just found more information on the DoorDash app. And if people are complaining about certain orders or bad shit, there is an answer to it. And as much as people don't want to believe it, it's top dasher. If you if you want to be the true cherry picker, the true top cherry picker, it's top dasher is what it is because they delegate the orders to you. And the only way for that for this message to truly get across to the community is for, say, content creators like you to, to help interview and push it out. This is one interview, right? And there's a lot of the, the main players watching this. And this is going to go into the ether for the next few months for people to watch. Oh, no, I but get it. If you I, were to I ain't it, pushing it. I'll, yeah, I'll interview I know. you, but if you, you were know to me, take bro. A, yeah, I know. No, if you were to no. take a chance. So for me, it's a grind. And I'll sure. be there. I'll have the 100K subscribers. I'll get that that wave of people in influence coming in, just like you're doing, you know? Um, I'm here because of you, Pedro. You've inspired me also. You know, it's you don't know the ripple effect that you create on people because they'll never actually tell you. No, I, I get that. I get that. I will say this. I want to I want to kind of round out this a little bit. Uh, you, I'm sure you watch Nugs, yeah. Of course. Okay, who doesn't? Like Nugs is the, in my opinion, the goat of entertainment. He's in the, the entertainment capital. Yes, he's the, it. he's yes. the goat of it. It's not yeah. even close. You know, shout out to Nugs. But he did this. He, you know, he tried Top Dasher, and he, you know, he, he. I think he did it uh, in his market. I think he was mm -hmm. Ohio yeah. or something. He did it with him and his girlfriend Kayla and yeah. his girlfriend, and he he didn't recommend it. He was like, hey, I, you know, it sucked. It didn't, you know. Now that's one man's perspective in a different market than you and I. What do you mm -hmm. say to that? Because he tried it, you know, in a similar say, fashion that you did. I say there's not enough. He didn't have enough information. If I was able to speak to him and he was to come hang out in a Discord and analyze orders real quick, even with you, I mean, I would be willing to just just show you, and then you you will see a difference. Even even with non top dasher, you guys are declining a lot of stuff you don't realize has hidden tips on it. That's the biggest thing is the hidden tips. Well, hold on. I'll say this. I'll say this. Uh, I can spot hidden tips. I feel it, nothing's 100%, but I feel very confident. I would say, I'll ability. say this with confidence. I'm 90 to 95% confident on every single one of them. And you can oh, go into my Discord and see yeah, when I take too. them, I always get bigger ones than what oh, I've actually accepted. Me too. Me too. I, I, yeah. I usually say I'm 95% and I can guess it within a, a dollar or two. Yep. Sometimes yep. I'm surprised, but it's very rare. You know, when you do this enough, you see... You see the the merchant. This is item, what item count subtotal. It's very easy if you've done it enough. But yeah, I could totally spot a hidden tip from a mile away. I don't now, need cool, para what's, or what's nothing. Awesome you know. about that is with a top dasher account, you would see you. I know would experience the difference instantly because you've dashed for so long. You would be like, "Wow, what the is happening mm. with this?" I mm. are you serious? So it's just. It's crazy to know that there's the other spectrum there. It exists, and it still exists for non-top dashers. It's just the trickle effect, though. Yes, you get a catering order. Yes, you're going to get a large order. Yes, you're going to get a seventy-dollar order. Yes, you're going to get, you know, a, a five hundred-dollar order from Capriati Sandwiches Catering or something like that. It's it's going to sure. happen because sure. not everybody is always online. And this is this is what people call unicorns. And I just want to say, as a top dasher, unicorns are not unicorns. They're daily occurrences. We see herds of them. You know, and they and they come out at night. They fucking love the nighttime. Yeah, interesting, interesting. So, uh, if you got some time, I'd like to bring a few more people in. You got a little time? I'm good for for four hours, bro. <laughs> cool. All right, let's go. Well, we I won't. I'm not good for four hours. <laughs> hey, I want to I want to say I appreciate you. You know, I've been hounding you the last couple, like last week, trying to get you on. Appreciate you doing that because I understand. Listen, I have a show. A lot of people watch. I get it. 
Uh, I'm honored that people watch. I'm humbled. Uh, but I understand coming in, you I know you know, hey, most people in here aren't top dashers. They're going to call you this. And I know you don't care about that. That's why I wanted to bring you on because I knew you could have a conversation. and We could yeah. do it respectfully. And you know how my you know what my stance is. I know yours. But we could come together and just maybe some people can say, you know what? Nah, you know what? Pedro's right. Or some yeah. other can say, you know what? Nah, Richard's right. I don't want to try at, look that. At, look at both sides. Look at both look sides. At both sides. Right. It's all or good. what's we, cool about, about the non-top dashers right now, you haven't seen my side. And if you haven't checked it out, like I said, go into Discord. We have data for you, not just someone's opinion. Of sure. some, I'm not saying you, not that, but there's data. You have data of hundreds of videos. That's your data. You know what I mean? Absolutely. So, uh, good. So, but a, you have people that point. go on Reddit and put one comment. That's not data. You know what I mean? Yes. That's one person's yes. opinion one time. Absolutely. So I have, I, have, I have months of data inside Discord for you guys to read and, and compare and check real quick and, and see how many deliveries you do, see what your active time is, see what your sure. active time is. So how do people find your uh, Discord? Um, right when now, they go to your videos, maybe just and you go to my videos. Links. It's, link, okay. it's linked in the description and, and pinned to the top of the comments, also. Okay. So that's and, that's the best way to find. And it. listen, guys, I'll say this before I bring the people. I see Bud Soda still in here, Cliff Dog, and I see Jared. I'll bring you guys in in a moment. If you got any questions or we just want to vibe for another five or ten, um, even if you don't want to be top dasher, his channel is entertaining. It, it is what it is. So I like that, you know, because I, you know. I don't have to agree with somebody or feel like they're right to like what they got going on over there. You know what I'm saying? So go check them out, you know, hit subscribe, watch a couple of videos. If you like it, hit subscribe. At the end of the day, we can all have different opinions on things. Cause in my opinion, at this point, what I've learned about making the million freaking videos I've done and all the rambling and all my opinions, I've called top dashers clowns and you can't de deliver to miserable people. Like it's all on record. I've said it a thousand freaking times. It's annoying. Right. But at the end of the day, where I stand right now, after learning and talking to different people with different perspectives, I think, you know, Richard's talking about, you know, he's breaking down the algorithm. He's got this Plinko effect and it's trickle. And I get it. That's his opinion. But he, he's saying he's got facts, right? Data to back it up and his experience. For me, what I talk about is I think I think it's really hard to know this algorithm. I think there's some coincidences here and there. There is some skill, but I think. I think the algorithm can be different market to market sometimes, depending on the amount of dashers on that day, how oversaturated or undersaturated your market is, your demographics of your market, order flow. I think there's a lot of other things that we don't even really know about. Right. And that's what I've seen, at least for me, because I've done I don't know how many deliveries you got. I'm at sixty five hundred on DoorDash. I'm at like eleven thousand deliveries lifetime or actually. And that's only in like two and a half years. So I feel like, you know, I've seen enough of it here and there, but I think it's cool that we could have a conversation about different perspectives, different markets, because I know right now I've heard from other drivers out like where you're at and they say I, they can't get nothing. Maybe it's because they're not top dasher. I have no idea. I can only speak from St. Louis. In my opinion, if you're top dasher here, you might be probably you're losing out on money because I still get really good orders. And I think I notice that you do a lot of red cards. So do I. Here, I think a lot is, of your orders. Where... I believe it's, you said the algorithm's changing. I believe it's, it's fluid as in, it's like water. You don't know how many people, how many customers have ordered, customers have ordered, sure. which you yeah. don't know what subtotals are sitting out there. You mm -hmm. don't know what dashers have signed in online to pair themselves with X orders or mm -hmm. when a pri we like call priority person, if you delivered to them a bunch of times, they give you a five star and you could sign online and you could steal an order from someone real quick. Yeah. You know, I've, I've yeah. done it by sitting next to a top dasher. He's been to the person's house eight times. I've been twice. He goes the yeah. ninth time, even though we're sitting right next to each other. It's like, why did that happen? And that's where we put our theories together, right? We say this might be X because of Y. Sure. Absolutely. Absolutely. So let me see if we got, I'm going to bring, uh, I don't know if Cliff, I'm going to bring these guys in real quick. So let's just see if these guys are still here. They're still. Up. So Nova. Yes. I, I basically cherry pick for most of the month. And then at the last five days, I'll go for top deck. I do 20 deliveries per day. And I do that five days. And if no mistakes happen, I try and get 100% because I believe if I'm on top of the list, I see it all. 